Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video, and welcome back to the Ethical Hacking course. Now, before we begin, I want to just say that I'm back now officially, my channel is uh, up and running, all my social uh, media is all running, so we should be all good uh, in terms of communication and video uploads. So, uh, as as I mentioned, the schedule will, be, will still be the same, we're going to have uh, the ethical hacking videos, we're going to have Linux videos, uh, deep web videos, and uh, also tutorials and videos that you guys want to see. So yeah, guys, thanks a lot for the support. Uh, you guys have been fantastic supporting me through this uh, this really, really hard period. But nonetheless, uh, you might, as you might have guessed from the title of the video, this video is going to be a about VPNs. And the reason why I'm touching on VPNs is because I've got a lot of comments saying that... Uh, using proxy chains and the anon surf script am i fully anonymous and is my traffic really um is it is it uh, different from where i am coming from meaning have i routed it to another country to basically complete my anonymity and the answer to that is not fully this is where uh, the dns and vpn settings come into play and that, that's why i'm going to actually um, explain this because it's very important that you understand how this works. So basically, uh, you're going to be using your default DNS provided by your ISP. And that means that your traffic can be logged and can be identifiable to the country that you're browsing from. So it is very important that you change this and you use a reputable source that uh, perhaps does not log your requests and ensures an anonymity, which is why I'm going to say, make sure you select a very reputable DNS uh, provider or you could be just doing something really, really wrong to yourself and giving people access to what your your traffic is or whatever you're browsing. But um, basically, all this uh, has to do with is basically what DNS you're using. So um, to basically check uh, what DNS you're using, we're going to use the... Uh, let's just check uh, using the this command right here. So um, I'm actually going to cat uh, etc... Uh, let's see if I remember this. Um, I think it's resolve.conf. I think that should be the one. All right. So, so this is basically the network manager, and it's saying that my name server is 192.168.0.1. Now, this will almost be quite similar to what you will have if you have not configured the DNS. So, if you have this, you you are rest assured that your traffic is being routed to your ISP. Through a proxy, you may be directing your traffic to another country. For example, I, I could be in France and I'm using a proxy in Germany and it looks like my traffic is coming from Germany. But when they check up the DNS settings, the DNS will still be in France and will be showing that it's coming from France. So it just defeats the whole purpose if you don't actually change your DNS, which is what we're going to do right now. So um, we already know that I'm running my uh, ISP, uh, my ISP's DNS. So what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, use the nano editor. I'm not going to be using the Vim editor because that requires its own tutorial on how to use it. The nano is quite simple for beginners, so let's stick with that. So etc um, dhcp and um, uh, dhclient.conf. All right. All right. So here is the uh, configuration file for the dh client. So basically, we don't want to touch anything here apart from what I tell you to touch. So we're just going to scroll down. You can use the scroll wheel on your mouse or you can use the um, you can use the arrows. So you want to go down to this line right here, the prepend domain name servers. All right. Uh, in my previous classes, uh, I've basically mentioned that the hash, uh, the hash symbol means that it's commented and it's not active. So we just want to get rid of the hash symbol and prepend the domain name service or, or the domain name servers, excuse me, which basically are DNS. Um, and we're going to delete this current one, the 127.0.0.1, and we're going to add our own. So how do we do this? Well, basically for this, uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using OpenDNS. You can basically just uh, Google OpenDNS and uh, it'll be the first one in the link or uh, I'll put the link down in the description. And we basically have um, some free uh, DNS here, like this one, uh, these two IP addresses. So I'm going to be using these two name servers. So let me just copy them. I'm going to copy the first one and I'm just going to paste it right there. 
and I'm going to add a comma after that and we're going to add the second one. It's very important that you add a comma and uh, let's copy that. There we are. And uh, let's paste that. All right. So uh, as far as the DNS is concerned, we should be good right here. So all we have to do now is hit control O to uh, write the changes, hit enter and control X to exit. So pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Now what we have to do is uh, we basically um, we have to restart the network manager. So um, service mm, network uh, manager restart. All right, and it's going to be restarted. And now we can check what we did previously, which is basically what name servers are currently running. Uh, Resolve.conf. Uh, there we are. So basically, we're running through uh, the first one, which will be the one. It'll be routed through the 28.67.222.222. There are currently three name servers, but 100% um, or 99%, um, I should say. Uh, all your traffic will be going through this top one and therefore you are now completely anonymized. There is still a lot more to talk about, which I will get to in the second part of this video. But basically what I wanted to uh, explain in this video is why uh, DNS and e even if you're using proxies, e uh, that's why people ask me if I'm browsing the deep web and I'm running through the Tor proxy, uh, guaranteed you're not going to be fully anonymous. That's... Um, your, your 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 traffic may be anonymous but if someone were to look up on it and decide to target you they will find out eventually that your dns points to the country you're in unless you change it which is exactly how i've shown you right now so, which is what i'm getting to a lot of you guys maybe are reading different forums on reddit and uh, you know the, the lot really but it's very important to understand that you have to use a reputable DNS uh, providers. The reason I'm saying this is many, many people set up DNS servers and they promise, they promise you different things like they'll not tap your, uh, your, uh, they, they'll not filter your, your, uh, basically whatever you're doing really, your, your traffic and stuff like that. But in, in reality, what they'll do is basically be redirecting you to advertisements and will basically be, be logging whatever you're doing. So uh, what I'm trying to say here in hindsight is many of these other DNS servers, the non-legitimate ones, have been set up for malicious intent. And you guys know how the current uh, ransomware situation is. If oh, Okay, it really hasn't affected Linux that much, but it doesn't really matter. It's all about securing your system and anonymizing yourself, uh, so basically, which is uh, the most essential thing, I think, for a pen tester or an ethical hacker. But that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope this video helped you. Um, if it did, please leave a like down below. If it didn't help you or you didn't enjoy the video, let me know why in the comment section below. If you have any question, let me know on my social networks or hit me up in the comment section. Or you can you can contact me on my kick, which is always open and I'll uh, most likely respond to your question within two hours. That's what I guarantee. Now. Uh, I have one more announcement that I want to make. Um, it's not really important, but uh, I have a Patreon page that I've set up. And before you guys judge me, um, I have set this up in case or in the event that you want to support me. Uh, you, you can do that if you want to. I'm not forcing anyone and I'm not encouraging anyone to support me. But if you feel that you want to support me in any way you can, I'll be, I'll be really, really, um, appreciative and pleased with what you've uh, decided to to help me with as i said i'm not doing this for any financial gain i'm just trying to build a community uh, around ethical hacking and basically training people the right way but uh, for those of you who feel that you want to support me um i i, I really I, I would appreciate that and i thank you uh, in advance for that but if you don't want to, don't worry about that. There's nothing wrong with you if you don't want to. I understand most of you are, are in a situation where you, 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 money is not, uh, is, is not your, is basically, is, is not very important to you at this point. But that's what I'm basically saying. Anyway, sorry for holding you guys, uh, longer than, uh, usual. Thanks so much for watching this video and have a fantastic day. Peace.